obsessed with heavy riffs and baritone guitars, crush that subscribe button and hang out. Hello and welcome to the channel. I am The Bun. This is Baritone Obsessed. This is a show where we talk about going super low with super long guitars. Today we're comparing eight different baritone guitars. They're all very different. Goes from 27.5 inches in scale up to 30 inches in scale. They're all configured differently. What do all of these guitars sound like back to back? Uh, this hopefully will help to address the question of which baritone should I get? Just want to take a minute to thank everybody with me over at Patreon. Adrian, Andrew, Anthony, Ben, Derek, Dennis, Eric, Aaron, J. Cruz, Jack, Johan, Jonas, Cairo, LD, Mile, Nick, and Tim. Highly, highly appreciated. The guitars that we're going to be looking at are the Eastwood Sidejack Baritone, the PRS Meshock, Ibanez RGIB, the Telecaster Baritone conversion that I did with the Warmoth neck, the Dan Electro, Dan Electro 56 Baritone, Gretsch Electromatic Jet Baritone, Fender Squire Jazzmaster Baritone, and the Ibanez SRC6. Recording everything with the bridge pickup, EQs are flat, tuning is G standard, and the strings that we're using are the Kurt Mangan Baritone sets at 14 to 68 in gauge. The amp tone for every single guitar is the exact same amp tone. Yes, I know, that riff didn't really have any chugs in it. <laughs> Let's listen to what just chugs sound like.
Usually when I will use these guitars, any one of them, they all have their own amp patch. For this, I use the exact same amp tone. I was really surprised that everything is totally acceptable. If those were final recordings, well, they are final recordings on here, I guess. <laughs> A lot of them surprisingly sounded so similar. And I was like, huh? These guitars are nothing alike. <laughs> the second thing is because I've never gone back to back to back so vigorously, so quickly, uh, I never really realized how much the feel of every guitar influenced my playing. I could play certain parts of this riff that I used as an example, better or worse, depending on what guitar I was playing. Which one was the best or which one was the clear winner and Really, that's up to you. <laughs> For me, I always come back to this guitar and I'm always impressed with it, but the Dan Electro. I just love the sound of those spanky pickups. The only thing is the noise. If I could get some Kinman noiseless mods done for it or something like that where I could get rid of the Dan Electro noise. It tunes to multiple tunings super easily because it's 29.75 inches in scale. Not what you would typically pick for heavy music. That's the whole point of this thing is like, what kind of rocks do we live under? What did you hear? What, uh, what, what are your ears telling you? Did, do you like any of them? Do you hate all of them? <laughs> if you're looking for the breakdown of the specs of every guitar, specifically to do with the pickup configurations, uh, that will be on my website. Finer details are gonna be on my blog. You can find all the links down below in the description. And if you're stoked on all this baritone stuff, subscribe and hang out. Thanks again to everybody over at Patreon. Those folks are the people who have sponsored this video. So very, very thankful for their help over there. If you'd like to help the channel along on Patreon, it would be highly appreciated. There are three tiers there and a few different types of rewards. If you're not into Patreon, I also have music for sale and for stream and I have merchandise available. And you can find all those things in the links down below. I hope that you are all safe and that you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you in the next episode.